What's the theory behind that pour? Because I've always Cheers. I've had problems. Cheers. It's a Tuesdays. <laughs> mm. So, to stop an excessive head from cre being created, um, pretty cute. You you want to pour it down the side of the glass, right? So it's not splashing and all these bubbles being released. But my friend's a waiter, and he just developed this cool pour where you pour it down the far side of the glass, and it uh -huh. hits that rim. But you gotta pour it gently, because you know, the glass slopes like yeah. this. So you can just pour it like that and have it hit here and cascade down. Yeah. But it's hard, because if you overshoot it, you spill yeah. it this way, and if you undershoot it, it hits the bottom of the glass, and splashes, and creates a really huge head. Okay. Yeah, you there see? You yeah. There, once you get it, That's awesome. then it's perfect. Because okay. you actually want a little bit of a head on you, right? I always like a little bit of head. So I got this new gig, this is pretty good. Uh, Craig Diamond, my old boss, you know, I used to like uh, freelance for. Okay. Kind of went belly up for a while to where like I absorbed his last client. I told him about that. I got like a really great rate. And it was like I was a retainer, and it was like hell yeah. Then he calls me out of the blue while I'm in New York. And he's like, hey, I got another, I got another job for you. Uh, and he basically through the phone call like vaguely positions himself to where like he's back as a pro uh, project manager. Okay. So I, I, it was awkward, but I'm like, oh, so. I didn't know how to phrase it. I'm like, you're back? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to rebuild Diamond Creative and stuff. So, you know, so like, I was like, and then let me explain myself to him. And I told him my fan of Box's company I'm developing with Kirk and Clayton and how we're going to start developing websites and stuff. Wait, okay, yeah, I remember. So, I'll tell you about it. So, anyway, uh, so he starts bringing me clients. So, a week and a half ago, he's like, that is like the best thing for you. He's like, a buddy of mine wrote a book called Crazy for the Storm. It's, uh, it's a memoir. True, a true story, and, and it's blown up right now. He's like, Amazon has put it as one of the best books of the year. Starbucks selected it as their book of the month. It's huge. Okay. It's a New York Times bestseller, an LA Times bestseller. What's it called? Crazy for the Storm. Over to the Storm? Crazy for the Storm. Oh. So he's like, the guy needs a webmaster, and he needs someone online to kind of like nurture this buzz, you know? Right. So it's like, I told him he'd be perfect for it. So in a nutshell, the book is a crazy book. It's about an 11-year-old kid who grew up in like Topanga Canyon, like his father was a surfer, and I taught him how to surf at a young age and ski. The father was really competitive, but like in a loving kind of way. And pretty much what happened was when the kid was 11, they were flying to uh, Big Bear. And a charter sent them to pick up a trophy the kid won, and they hit a storm you know, 25 minutes out of the Santa Monica Airport, and they crashed into the mountain. The father died on impact, the pilot died, and the father's girlfriend and the kid were like thrown from the plane. And the girlfriend eventually fell off the mountain, and the kid, you know, during a nine hour ordeal, like got down the mountain, like 11 survived. This all happened Jeez. in the 70s. And the guy finally wrote a book about it, and it's like blowing up now. Like all the people that look like Crack Hour, and I get the little wild and thin air. I really jump on it. It's exciting because it's like, I'm reading the book right now, I'm loving it, you know? And uh, the guy's cool. I've talked to him on the phone, and I'm like, it's a good gig, you know? And I kind of like fell on the road.